What is going on guys? All right, so today I'm gonna go over how you can get your Russian visa. So in this video, um, actually today, I'm going to uh, the Russian consulate up in Tel Aviv and a um, little over to my, my train, I'm taking the train up to Tel Aviv in Israel, in Jeru not in Israel, or Jerusalem, but in, in Tel Aviv, Israel. And um, I'm gonna be, I applied for it about 10 days ago and I needed the, the following paperwork. Then it took me, um, takes about 10 days or so for them to process it. Cost around, I think a hundred and, I wanna say about $120, it's like 300 shekels or so, 350 shekels, um, which is equivalent to about 90 to 100 or so dollars. And um, so yeah, anyway, the paperwork that you need for applying for the visa. Okay, so what I was saying earlier was the paperwork that you'll need to get your um, get your visa for Russia, what you need to apply for it at the very least. So what you actually are going to need is you're going to need um, obviously a passport. You know, need your, your passport to apply for the visa. If you're from the US, this is the process that I went through. Um, you need your uh, application form. You can fill that out and I'll put the link uh, on the screen in the description box below. So you need to fill that form out and print it out. And then you need to get your, um, so let's see, application form, your visa, you need health insurance for the whole time that you're in the country. So while you're in the country, you're going to need to get your, have, you know, traveler's health insurance while you're there for the full time of your trip. Um, I got six months of health insurance because I'll be traveling for at least six months. Um, and I'll put the link for that in the description box below. I found a really good, good plan that has good coverage. And then you'll need, yeah, those three forms. And then I think there's one more. Oh yeah, this one can be kind of annoying, but it can also be really easy. And this is the invitation letter. It's the last and final piece of paperwork that you'll need for applying for your Russian visa is your invitation letter. And so the invitation letter, you can get that from someone in Russia and they can go through the whole process of doing it. Um, and if you get someone to do that, it's a lot easier to get the six month and three year visa um so where you can go to russia for six months in the span of three years i actually didn't apply for this one i was going to do it but um it just takes kind of a while for, um, for the other person to do, do the paperwork and fill it out and whatnot but there's a lot of ways where you can just get an easy invitation letter for uh, like a month or whatever for a shorter period of time of visit and that's um that's through contacting your hotel or your hostel, where there's a lot of good forums. There's a lot of good, uh, a lot of good um, forums. But I'll, I'll put a link in the description box below to where I I applied and got an invitation letter. It's like a service where you pay about twenty, you know, ten to thirty dollars, and they email you a copy of an in invitation letter. And when I had submitted mine with my other pieces of paperwork or my forms of paperwork uh, went through, so that was good. But yeah, basically all you need is your passport, invitation letter, your health insurance, and your Russian form for the visa application. Oh, there's one more thing that you need. You do need a uh, passport picture. It's a different size than your actual, your actual, uh, uh, like US, the US passport picture. I think it's one inch by one inch. Um, I'll get the measurements and I'll put it on the screen right here, but that's not difficult to do. You know, you should go get some pictures. I'd recommend getting at least two copies um, for them and maybe a few extra copies in case you have to fly for the visa again. But um, yeah, we'll see. Today I'm actually going to try to pick up mine, so we'll find out if um, my passport went through and I got my visa to go to Russia and I won't have to do this whole process again. Um, I have the opportunity to apply for it again in uh, the USA and Hawaii because I'll be there for a few weeks or in Japan because I'll be there for a longer period of time. But um, it's kind of annoying having to do this. This is another reason why I'm getting a second, you know, valid passport. But hopefully they went through and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens.
All right, guys. So I'm super happy right now because um, I finally got this back and I got the visa that I was looking for. Let's see if I can pull this out. So this is what the visa will look like once you actually get it. That's that's uh, that's it. I'm trying to cover up all the information. I'll try to blur blur out any uh, personally identifying information, but super super happy. Um, but yeah, if you follow all those steps, if you get all that paperwork and you submit all that stuff, you'll be able to get your, your visa for Russia. Mine's only for a month, but um, this time I'm only spending a month there. I might go there to study the language for a year or two, so depending. But either way, I'm super happy that I was finally able to get my visa for Russia. And if you guys want to get your visa as well, just follow those steps, get all that paperwork. Um, then you should be set then you can come visit Russia just like me um, Or you can just watch my videos. I will be there in April April and May. Yeah, I think I'll be there in Yeah, April and May. I'll be in Russia for the latter part of April the beginning part of May Taking a train across the country doing a bunch of exploring So if you guys want to watch that make sure you subscribe and check out some of my other videos and watch my vlogs throughout um, throughout you know traveling Southeast Asia and Northern Asia, going over to Europe and whatnot. All right guys, well there you go, but peace out, take care, NST.